it's Claire. Thank you so much for stopping by. I just wanted to quickly jump on here before I go into my voiceover where my voice gets a little robotic. I wanted to actually physically quickly talk to you guys. First saying thank you so much for being here as always and supporting me so much. I just cannot thank you guys enough for the overwhelming amount of support and I'm just in a really good mood because I am so excited. There's a couple good things. First, this tutorial I'm so pumped about because I am doing a full Sigma brushes makeup tutorial using my favorite brush set. This is the Make Me Classy brush set which you guys always see me use uh, some of the brushes throughout my tutorials. This is going to be a full look using only Sigma brushes and this is my favorite set and it's going to feature also their new smoke screen palette eyeshadow palette. Here's a little sneak peek before we get into the tutorial. So I'm going to link all the products below but I also am going to link below something very exciting just happened recently I that is going to change the way I interact with you guys and that's what pumps me up the most about it is that I just got accepted to be a part of Google Helpouts which means I can actually do online one-on-one -on -one makeup lessons with you guys which is insane I can actually do um, a structured I have a profile now on Google Helpouts where I can teach you makeup tricks and tutorials whatever you might want to learn and we could do this one-on-one -on -one via webcam which is so cool cool and just like, technology is so advanced to allow me to do this with you guys. So all you need is a Google account and I'm going to link it below so you can see my profile and just my bio and I'm so excited about it. It's going to be such a great way to interact with some of you guys one on one and answer any of your questions. So I'm very pumped up about that. I just wanted to quickly jump on here and mention that before we go into what you guys are all came for this video for which is the makeup tutorial. But I just wanted to let you guys know that little exciting announcement that I I'm very pumped about. So I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the tutorial. Bye! So first I am going in with a drugstore foundation by Neutrogena. This is their healthy skin foundation in fresh beige and I chose this one because it gives a nice medium to full coverage foundation to even out our skin tone. Sticking with mostly drugstore products for the skin, I'm moving into Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. And as you can see, I use it directly with the wand on the places on my face, usually underneath the eyes, on the middle of my eyebrow area to brighten up that area, and below my lips. And I'm just using the same brush I used for my foundation. And I'm just working that in. I like this because it goes right up underneath my lash line perfectly. Diving into my brand new eyeshadow palette by Sigma. This is the smoke screen palette I'm going to take the top right color, which is called Thunderhead. It's a gorgeous matte brown tone that I love using in my crease So I'm using this with an E40 Blending brush, so this is going to help deposit that color in the crease so we have a great starting point this step usually gives the eyes the most definition and also kind of creates an outline of where we're going to be placing our lid color as well as our brow bone highlight and our inner corner as well. So just want to fluff that into a rainbow shape so that we have a good starting point for the eyes. With the Sigma E55 brush, I'm picking up this light shade with shimmer in it. This is called Veiled. I love this palette because it has such a variety of matte tones as well as shimmer tones. So this is the perfect highlight color to put on the brow bone as well as the inner tear ducts. I'm going to flip the brush over and put the adjacent color, which is this gorgeous peachy tone. And I love this one. This one is called Opulent. And I'm just packing that across my lid space. Really want to do a pressing motion that always makes makes the eyeshadows show up stronger than rather than swiping it. Uh, so you just want to put that up into the crease area, which is where we put Thunderhead. You want to make sure you're really covering this area nicely with that Sigma E55 brush. Now to give some definition to the eyes, I'm using a drugstore eyeliner by Milani. And it's a retractable aligner, so it allows me to easily place the eyeliner without having to sharpen. And this shade is just in a nice chocolatey brown color, and I'm focusing it mainly on the waterline. With the Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm picking up Nebula from the same palette, and I'm going to go right on top of that brown eyeliner we just put down. A good trick to intensify any sort of eyeshadow color that's really vibrant is to have a base down before it, so we're just going to fuse that brown eyeliner together with the blue so that it really pops. Here I'm again taking that 
brown color in the top right with a flat shader brush and I'm going to work this right underneath the blue color. It's going to give a lot of warmth and just blend out that color uh, a little better. So it also is the same color we used in our crease and this E60 brush, I'm just using it side to side to get me that perfect diffused line. Now here I am just doing a very simple black line on the top of my eyelids. I am keeping it really close to my lashes. I want it to be a very tight, thin line. So uh, nothing crazy here. I'm not going to wing out the eyes either. I want the attention to be on the blue smudged out part on the bottom. And then I'm going to pop on some fake eyelashes uh, from Ardell and I put some white duo adhesive glue. It will dry clear in just about 30 seconds here, but I wanted to give the lashes some intensity and these are one of my favorite pairs. On top of those lashes, I chose a very volumizing mascara by L'Oreal. I'm sure you guys have seen me use this plenty of times, but I'm just going to do a couple coats of that on top of the lashes. Now that the eyes are done, I'm going to go in with this Sigma blush called Born To, and it is the perfect cheek shade to complement this look. And I'm using it with the Sigma F40 brush, and it's the perfect size to really bring out my cheekbones, do a little bit of contouring as well. So I just make a really dorky kissy face and then work it on the apples of my cheeks. And last but not least, to finish off this look, I have the Get Ready Lip Gloss by Sigma and it is this gorgeous peach tone lip gloss that has some subtle gold shimmer to it. So it's the perfect shade going into spring and summer and it smells like vanilla frosting on top of it. I am obsessed. That is going to complete this makeup tutorial. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment below for the next request. Also, make sure you check out my Google Hotbots link in the bottom bar below. I look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care, bye.